Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Uh, we haven't had much in the way of showers here, but it's been pretty busy up to the north. As you can see right about here in the hill country, just north of San Antonio, they've had about five inches of rain since this morning, and heavy rain has been plaguing the traffic throughout Houston. Seems like most of the, uh, the bulk of the activity is moving north of our region from what we had yesterday. So it looks like it's all happening to the north of our area, but we still continue with that very tropical environment. That why, that's why with a little heating, we do expect a few isolated showers around the area. So far, so good. The cloud cover and the rain may keep us down to below 90 degrees today. Here's San Antonio, up in the areas like Bernie and those places, that's where they've gotten the very heavy rain, about five inches right about there. So they're getting flooding problems. Also shower activity, Victoria to Houston. But as far as we're concerned, it's been fairly quiet. In fact, we've had hardly any uh, showers out over the Gulf waters over the last couple of hours. Of course, the big news is uh, up north, that is the uh, tropical storm Chris. This is Beryl, but this is the remnants of Beryl. Beryl has fallen apart as a storm. It ingested a lot of that dry Saharan dust. As a result, it is a large area of uh, disturbed weather, but it is not a huge problem. Winds are up to about 50 miles an hour, so it is still not a pleasant day. Now, the question is, where are they going? Chris is going to the northwest, uh, to the northeast, rather, not a problem. The remnants of Beryl are going to go right over the Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, but then there's a good possibility that it will regenerate somewhere about here where conditions are more favorable. But if it does regenerate, it will get picked up by the winds and follow that path. So as far as the Gulf of Mexico is concerned, very slim to all, you can never say never, you know, but very unlikely that it will move into the Gulf of Mexico. So we should be on the better side. Now, the big dome of hot air uh, that was over us actually moved north. That's why we were getting all this shower activity rolling across the Gulf. Well, it's actually going to be building a little bit farther south over the next couple of days. That's why as we get to this, this coming weekend, we're going to be a little warmer a little warmer back to the mid 90s you can see it right there and it's going to shut down the rain opportunity as well so yes hotter weather is be will be coming to us in the next couple of days so showers possible with the sea breeze this afternoon they roll in same thing for tuesday but by wednesday you can see how it sort of shuts down we don't really expect any rain it'll be quite humid uh, but uh, we won't see any kind of shower activity, not like uh, what we saw over the weekend. So what do we expect uh, as we get into the balance of the week? It looks something like this. Looking for an 89 today, getting up to about 91 on Wednesday, then 93, 94. And of course, it's not the heat. It's the humidity that will get you and we'll be feeling it by the end of this week.